subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brandy and I follow WW. I do hauls, what I eat in a day, all that jazz, throw in an extra video every now and again. But I just got back from Trader Joe's. I absolutely love Trader Joe's. Huge fan. I don't get to go very often because it's the closest one's about an hour from my house. But there is one near my work. But we went and visited my husband's family this weekend. So then we stopped by Trader Joe's on the way back. They didn't have that many new items right now. I think after the holidays and whatnot, it kind of like slows down on that. But let me get everything unbagged, scanned in, and let's see how I did on the points. Um, I've been shopping there for a few years while on WW, so I kind of know what to stay steer clear of, you know, all the snacks and that. I don't get to enjoy that much or that often. But I don't have the points memorized on everything, and I didn't scan too many things in the store, so let's hope that doesn't backfire on me. Let me get to unpacking. So I got everything unpacked and scanned in. Let me flip you around to show you what all I've got so we can put these groceries away before it melts. Okay, let's start down here with the meat. So I got this extra lean ground beef. I love getting this from there. It is 96% lean and it is three points per four ounces. And it gets you 21 grams of protein. I went ahead and picked up some lunch meat. I just grabbed ham. It was the best deal. It is two points per two ounces. So I didn't love that. But that's okay, and two points, which is two ounces, is 70 calories and 11 grams of protein. Not too bad there. I also picked up this beef tenderloin, I'm sorry, pork tenderloin, just because it was like an alternative protein we don't eat a ton of. And I like that it was small, and it was really good price. So $5.75 for this, and it is three points per four ounces. And it gives you 24 grams of protein, 120 calories. Oh, what else? Meat. These are my favorite Italian chicken sausages. I love putting these in gnocchi. They're four points per link. And they are 140 calories and 17 grams of protein. I also could not pass up these little pepperoni sticks, like beef sticks. There's seven points per package, and I think it has like nine of them in there. Obviously, I won't eat all those at once, but it is 140 calories for each side and nine grams of protein. I just thought they were too cute to pass up, and it was like really cheap too. Now, Nikki Gets Fit was talking about this summer sausage, turkey summer sausage. I absolutely love summer sausage, so I was excited when I saw this in nine. It is three points per the serving, which is uh, two ounces. So that's a fourth of this, and it's only 90 calories and 12 grams of protein. Can't wait to try that out. It's going to be yummy. I have had this chicken dip before. It's two points per the serving of two tablespoons. I really like it. It's kind of liquidy, which I do enjoy, especially with some crackers. And it's 60 calories for the two tablespoons and three grams of protein. So not much protein. So that's all that. But then, of course, you go to Trader Joe's and you get tons of frozen items. I love these corn dogs. They're five points each, but for a weekend lunch, absolutely go to of mine. They're delicious. So for the five points, it is 170 calories, only six grams of protein, but, you know... Can't go wrong with a corn dog on the weekend. I also love these hold the cones. I find these are my favorite, the chocolate chip ones. They're five points per cone, but a serving is three cones, and I think that's like 13 points, but I only ever eat one cone at a time, and it's under 100 calories. This is somewhere I think Weight Watchers is going crazy. These should be less. You know, we're eating a tiny bit, but whatever. My husband went ahead and grabbed one TV dinner. He went for the chicken shawarma bowl. I think these are new. It is 11 points, but it's 400 calories and 20 grams of protein. Like I said, that'll be for him for lunch. Always got to keep this instant rice. It's microwavable patches on hand. Each patch has one cup of rice, so you divide it, and the serving of a half a cup is five points. I'm sorry, each one has two cups of rice, 
And so you get a cup of rice for five points. So love those. They microwave in three minutes. This is just, this is just good to keep on hand when you're in a hurry. The chicken spring rolls are some of our absolute faves all time. And for a regular size egg roll, it's only three points. And I think they even round down if you have two, if I'm not mistaken. But it's a hundred calories. So, and five grams of protein. I've never given protein before, but now I'm into it. So, you're getting the protein. I have never traded these either, but Nikki Gets Fit talks about them. And I didn't realize they were such low points. It's four points for the serving, but that's for four of them. So, they're only a point each. So, I can't wait to try these. It's 130 calories for four of them and only two grams of protein. But it's a whole bunch of vegetables in there. Can't wait to give these a go. Got some Mahi Mahi patties. These are pretty good. Sometimes they're a little fishier than others, but they're only two point each and it makes a very quick and easy meal. 140 calories per the burger and 15 grams of protein. Me and my husband really like these. Okay. Also picked up the spinach artichoke dip. I really like this to make a pasta with, but we may also just heat it up for the Cowboys tomorrow. You know we're gonna win. And it is two points per serving. That's 40 calories and two grams of protein. Now, I got some bag items. I got this mashed cauliflower. We actually really enjoy this. It's one point per the serving. We also got some riced cauliflower that is zero points. I've never gotten this one in like this paper sack before. I'm sure it'll be fine. I do find that some cauliflower rice is more watery than others. But for the price, this is like, this one was like $1.99. And I think Green Giant is like 4 or $5. So definitely better on the price there. I had to get the mandarin orange chicken. You know, I mean, it's 10 points per serving. That's okay. I put it on cauliflower rice, add some broccoli. You can definitely make it work. I think we split the bag. No, usually we do three servings per bag. I also got this vegetable stir fry. I just plan on making maybe some sesame noodles and using this as the veggie just so it's already done and as seasoning already. It is one point per the serving, which is not bad since it's already sauced. Got a little bag of white corn. I really like this corn. I'm picky on corn. I like it to taste sweet and I find this one does. Love just adding this to random meals. And then this was something I've never tried for, this rice cauliflower, and it has green peas, red peppers, corn, tamarind, spring onions, sesame oil, and ginger, and it's one point per serving. I plan to just make some shrimp fried rice with this and maybe an egg roll on the side. Try it out. Now, this is one thing I probably should have stand in the, scanned in the store. However, I think I still would have picked it up because I've really been wanting to try it. It is this um, like Korean sweet potato glass noodles and stir fry. Natasha from Natasha's list raves about this, but it's seven points per the serving and this is two servings. So the whole thing will cost me like um, 14 points or maybe it rounds down to 13, but I'll have to save that on a day I can afford to have some points because I think I'm going to eat it as a single serve meal. So just with some grilled chicken or something there. I tried not to get too much cheese at Trader Joe's, even though I love their cheese, but I still have quite a bit from um, Christmas gifts and stuff. So, but I went ahead and picked up the light Mexican style cheese. It's three points per the serving, which is a fourth of a cup, eight grams of protein there. This is my absolute eight favorite sandwich cheese and cheese for breakfast or whatever. The Carlsberg Light Swiss. I like it that it's not so thin as the Sargento's thin slices, but it is two points per slice. It's 50 calories and seven grams of protein. That's really good for one slice of cheese, I feel like. I didn't realize cheese had that much protein, but makes sense. And then the cheese I couldn't pass up was this little goat cheese creamy brie. I absolutely love, 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 love this. So how to snag this. And it is three points per the serving, which is one ounce. So that's a fifth of this. So brie goes a long way. So I definitely will spend the three points on that. Now let's go into the produce. That's one of my favorite sections at Trader Joe's. They always have the best produce. 
So I got this ruddy vegetables. It's just a blend of broccoli, Brussels sprouts, red cabbage, kale, carrots, and snow peas. I plan to make this into a quick, easy uh, weeknight dinner, some type of stir fry. That's what I see in the works for that this week. Easy peasy. I'm going to make apple nachos. So I just picked up one Granny Smith. Um, I love buying the radishes and especially because they're like the tri-color. And these last, I'm talking about for months if you store them appropriately. So I love adding these to salads. So I went ahead and grabbed them even though I'm not sure if I'm eating salads this week. I still want to get them. Went ahead and grabbed a cantaloupe. Uh, this one smells great, so I'm hoping it's going to be good. I got the Herrera green beans. I plan on roasting these one night, probably the night I do the pork tenderloin. And I'll throw in some of these really cute tomatoes alongside of it for an easy weeknight meal. Got me a sumo citrus. These are really delicious, and they're easy to peel. They had a good deal on bags of these, but ultimately I picked a different citrus to keep the bag of. I'll show you in a sec. My husband always loves pears, and Trader Joe's is so great about doing colored stuff all together. So we got him a bag of tricolor pears. Got us some bananas for the week. We just love having those. And these was this, this is the citrus I went with. I went with the raspberry oranges. They look like blood oranges, but they're not calling them that. So we'll have to see how these taste. Can't wait to give them a go. This is something new. I have not ever tried these brown beach mushrooms. This is something also from Natasha's list she raves about. And I think I'm going to put them in the stir fry the night I make the stir fry. Okay, moving right along. One of my favorite sweet at night snacks is this kettle corn. It is five points per serving, but I believe, yeah, that's for two cups. So usually I toggle this down and only have a three point serving. It's the perfect balance of sweet and salty for me. Really love that one. Um, we picked up these hamburger buns tonight. I am recreating one of my HelloFresh meals into a lower point option. And I love that these came in at three points per bun. They're whole wheat buns. And then I also, I don't believe I've tried their organic ancient grain bread. Um, I think I didn't because it's two points per slice, but I realized Nikki fit, Get Fit let me know that when you have three, two slices, it toggles uh, to three points versus four. So I don't mind spending three points. I just don't want to spend four. So can't wait to give that a go. Picked up some Bear Bells. These are my go-to protein bars. These are the only ones I eat. I got chocolate cookie dough. I got salty peanut butter. I got crisp, creamy crisp, and caramel cashew. And these top three are three points, and then this one is six points. And I'm not really sure why. Let's see if they're different sugars. So zero added sugar. Yeah, I don't, I may have to check. I bet this one's five as well. I bet it's scanning wrong because the nutrition is the same on all of them. Well, at least for my like quick glance, it looks like the same. So let me check those. I got one chomps. I know I've tried these in the past, but I cannot for the life of me remember if I liked it or not. And I got the turkey one and it's two points per stick and 10 grams of protein. This is somewhere, I did scan this in the store, but I decided to go ahead and get it and it'd be worth it for a different flavor profile meal. But it's six points for half of this bag. And I plan to just do some chicken breast with it. So, you know, that won't be too terribly bad, but it's a tiki masala curry sauce. And we don't eat curry much often at home. So I'm excited to give that a try. I think it may be new. I hadn't seen it before. <laughs> We got the heart rice of palm riced. We like this in the pasta and the rice form, but we make this when we want Spanish rice. I'll add some seasonings and make it that style when we're having Mexican food. Um, I needed some olives, so I just picked out these olives. And again, look at Trader Joe's killing it on the colors. I love anything variety, and they really do that for me. We love farro, and they have the quick cook farro, so it is four points per serving of a fourth of a cup dry. That's five grams of protein, 170 calories. This is just a grain option I find I really, really enjoy, especially like mixing it in with arugula or spinach and some um, tomatoes. That's like a go-to side of ours. We haven't had it in a while, though. 
We did pick up some chili onion crunch. We really, really like this, especially when you're eating plain chicken. It's four points for the tablespoon, but you know, you don't really need a whole tablespoon of this. So I'll probably eat like half a serving every time you use it. I got some uh, dried tomatoes. I just like keeping these in the pantry. Usually I do pastas with them or some type of casserole. Um, I don't get the ones in oil because that'll be points. This way they are zero points. And then this is something new that I have not cooked with. I don't cook with quinoa a lot. To be honest, I'm not a huge, huge quinoa fan, but I've been liking it more here lately, so I figured I'd go ahead and pick it up. And it's four points for the serving of a half a cup dry, 150 calories, and six grams of protein. So it actually has more protein than the farro. Yeah. What about fiber? So this one has two grams of fiber. What does this one have? Fiber. Three grams. So actually, this one's like lower points. Or I'm sorry. This one's lower calories, more protein. So I don't know. I'll have to give it a go. But I really like farro. I like the texture of farro. Okay. I just picked up a can of black beans for zero points. We add those to a ton of different meals. It's an easy way to add protein and without adding points. And it's six grams of protein per half cup. And then refried beans, again, just something we like to keep on hand. And these are zero, and a half a cup is eight grams of protein and 120 calories. My husband bought this truffle hot sauce. He likes the, uh, what's the regular brand? Hold, please. Womp, womp. We have it. Yeah. He likes that one, and I think it's it can be like $15 a bottle. <clears throat> And he's getting low, so when he saw this one, he wanted to go ahead and give it a go. It is zero points. I don't love it, but it's just not my jam. Um, we are completely out of honey, so we went ahead and just picked up a thing of local honey. And it's three points, you know, per serving of one tablespoon, which I actually thought honey was more points than that. So that surprised me. But, and then we got a little bit of extra stuff. My husband got these beers. This six pack was $20 and it has, I think the bigger beer. So he was excited about that. And then I have a girl's trip next weekend and I went ahead and picked up this beautiful bottle of Prosecco. Let me put it in the light and show you. I mean, you see how pretty that is in the top? It's it bling bling. So it was about $18. I don't know if it's gonna be good. Let's hope it is. And then I got me just a cheap bottle of red wine just to also have to sip on. And then I have heard about this stuff from Natasha's list. Also, it is a preventative kind of like, um, they're even advertising it as a breath freshener to not get sick. It's supposed to be really, really healthy for you. It's raw honey propolis. This is what the queen bee eats. So we'll see, I'll give it a go. It is good and for many, many years. So I was excited about that. And then anytime I go to Trader Joe's, you got to get flowers. I hardly ever get mums, but these stay for a really long time. So happy about that. Okay, that is all I got. And it was right around $265, I believe. But once you take the alcohol off, it was like more like $215. So if you compare like my last week's grocery haul from HEB, which was 120 to this one, this one's like hundred dollars more. And I feel like I got a ton, ton more. I typically only go to Trader Joe's about once a month or actually probably even less, probably like once a quarter. I would like to go once a month, but I find that some of the freezer items last me longer than that. I need to realize I can go to Trader Joe's without it being a massive haul. But since it's like quite a ways away from me, I tend to only go sporadically and stock up. I need to get out of that habit though. But anyways, I'm gonna put it up and then I'm gonna quickly come up with a meal plan. Anytime I go to Trader Joe's, I never meal plan first because I like to see what I what they have and then I'll meal plan. Whereas when I shop at any other grocery store, that is not how I do it. I always go in with a list and a meal plan. Trader Joe's is the only place I do it opposite. So let me come up with some meals and I'll sit you through that before I say goodbye. So I finally, it's like so many hours later and I finally did my meal plan. Still loving this little meal plan book. It has where you can do like the weekly and then your list. I absolutely love it. But yeah, we went ahead and ate dinner and everything. It's about eight o'clock now. So I finally got time to think through my meal plan 
And luckily I don't need anything else so I don't have to go to an additional grocery store. But today, like I said, probably a million times, is Saturday and we had burgers today. We already ate those. We had planned for those in the last meal plan so I didn't have to like plan for that. So starting tomorrow, Cowboys play at 325. So I plan at halftime to go ahead and make roasted pork tenderloin, that one I showed you in the grocery haul, green beans with the tomatoes, and then I'll also do farro or the um, couscous. Not couscous, what is that little? No, it is couscous. I'm used to eating Israeli and couscous, whereas that's like the tiny couscous. But anyways, that will be Sunday. It may or may not give us leftovers. I'm not sure that pork's quite small. If so, we'll use that for lunch. It won't be enough for like two servings. And then Monday, we're gonna have some leftover zero point soup I already had made. So Monday, I'm gonna aim for a zero point day. I've done two of those videos in the past and they do well. And it like, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about doing it like every Monday to get me like geared up for the week and like ahead of the game, if you will. If they're not zero point, I may do like five point Monday or something like that, who knows. But, and then on Tuesday, we're gonna do some stir fry. I think I'm gonna do some sesame noodles with all that bag of mixed vegetables. Not sure the protein yet. It may be chicken or shrimp. I have some shrimp in the freezer as well. And then on Wednesdays, it's gonna be a convenience meal. I have these like faux bowls that you just microwave and they are so good, especially if you top it with a little bit of jalapeno and cilantro and kind of like jazz it up that way really good they're like eight or nine points each and i may do like an egg roll in the air fryer or something that night oh my little rio hang on baby oh <sighs> my little baby you're not getting on the table okay not no no sir leave it he's so needy but Anyways, and so then on the next day, Thursday, I'm going to do gnocchi and sausage. Now they're both being needy. <laughs> but um, yeah, the gnocchi is actually from Trader Joe's from a while back. I've been needing to use it up. But I'll use that spicy sausage in today's grocery haul on that. And it's a real easy meal. I'll probably do it with pesto because I already have the open jar of pesto in the fridge. And maybe a side salad if my lettuce is still good by then. And then Friday night, I am actually going to a girls treat trip just for two nights. So I'll eat out Friday and next Saturday. So got my week covered. Really simple this week. Thank goodness for Trader Joe's. Can you get down so mama can finish her video? <laughs> Anyways, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this meal plan and grocery haul. Until next time, good night. Say good night. See, I got a haircut yesterday. See, yeah, I got a haircut. Yeah. <laughs>